Hello everyone, welcome to the Laravel Tips and Tricks. So today video is about how we can validate the multiple forms in one web page. So we are also going to save these forms into the database. So how we can implement this in one web page. So let's get started. So this is the form where I created multiple forms. So this is basically one form where I created multiple uh, where I created multiple different types of forms. This one is a bet of the day, this one is a lay of the day and this one is a football bet, right? So I have almost seven to eight forms. So how I'm validating these all of the ones and uh, how I'm skipping them. So if uh, I want to save this uh, only bet of the day, user fill this information and then user don't want to fill the bl golden ticket and some other forms and click on this save all so how to skip these validations right and if i want to save these two ones uh, like i'm filling this so let me go to the top and user is filling this form fill this form and user filled this uh, uh, this form some values so how to validate that uh, these fields are also mandatory right so user is fill, filled some fields but user did not fill the proper field so how to validate them so let's click on this so it's going to validate us that botd forms other fields are also mandatory so let's take eye on it so it's redirected back so it says that lotd number is also required so it means that it's validating them here that uh, this is required, this is required, this is required. So how this is validating? So if I'm I'm not going to, if I give it a refresh, I'm not going to save any value. So what it's going to return us, right? So I'm going here and I'm not going to enter anything. So click on this save. So it's going to return us that uh, your values are not saved, right? So it's returning bet created successfully. Why? Because I added this, uh, I added this, uh, uh, let me go to the down, down, down and here I added this in the else condition, right? So I did not edit this in a proper, uh, in a proper uh, at the end of this if that's why it's uh, creating that so bet is created but actually it's not created, it's just uh, executing the session which is uh, added uh, after this, uh, after the end of this uh, store method. So let's get started how you can send the multiple forms and validate them properly. So let's go to the create page and here I uh, edit this form attribute at the top and I'm going to this auth bet store, right? And here I edit the general attribute. It's a CSRF token, a save button and input field with the, where I'm getting the start date, right? So here at this start is not now date. So this one is a uh, different. So I'm getting this from this uh, URL parameter. So I uh, let's click on this. So it's going to get the date. Yes, it's getting the date and I'm passing this date into the form. Okay. So now let's get started. So this is the bet of the day. So I'm starting this bet of the day. So this bet of the day is defined here. So I named this here bet of the day and then I name this BOTD ID and then BOTD name and BOTD track. So why I am naming this BOTD? Because I'm adding this suffix BOTD name for instantly changing them. So if I name this BOTD ID, BOTD name, BOTD track and I completed this form and after this I want to create this lay of the day so how I can create this instantly so let's go here I'm going to clone this one and then I'm going to select this BOTD right BOTD and control D D and select all of the one and then I'm going to change them like uh, LOTD instantly so this this that's why I name this with the suffix right so I'm using the field name before uh, after this suffix. So that's is the idea that how you can clone your multiple values, multiple forms. So I already shooted another video on it. So how you can clone your forms in uh, this is a three to four minutes video. So you can check out. So I will add the link in the description. So on the back, on the uh, on the front end side, I have added these forms like. Uh, I added the LOTD, I added the L LOTD name and stuff like that. So I also added the others BL, BLID, BL name and stuff like that. So I'm using only one form here, right? 
and I'm ending this here and I'm using this save all button also here. So in the controller, how I'm achieving this? So let's go to the bet controller in the store method and here I'm getting this start date and converting it to uh, exact uh, date format. And then I'm going to first check that if the request contain the BOTD ID is not null because I'm using this BOTD ID here. So that's why I'm checking this because this is a foreign key. That's why I'm before uh, sending the request, I'm checking this, okay? If this is not null, then I'm going to check the BOTD name. Why I'm naming, I'm checking this name that this is null or not. So if I go here and uh, my user want to uh, uh, submit this bet of the day, and then user uh, enter some values like uh, user go to this uh, BL daily and uh, click on this name is I'm naming this Dayat Niazi but uh, this one is a different uh, bad name. So I'm going to now submit this form. So let's check that what it's going to return us. So let's click on this save all and now it's going to validate other fields of this golden ticket bet. Okay, wait for a moment and yes, now it's uh, displaying us BL track field is required. How it's validating? It's validating from this one. This track is required. This price is required. If I filled up track that uh, fourth, let me make this fourth and uh, I'm going to submit this. So it's not going to display this uh, track uh, validation, right? So click on this save and uh, wait for a moment to complete this uh, process. It's uh, refreshing the web page and let's take eye on it. And yes, now it is playing us the number field is required. So it's not validating this one. Why? Because it's checking that it's filled up. So how you can validate a specific form? So it's not validating these fields or, or this, uh, this form fields. So how I'm achieving this? So I'm achieving this. I'm checking this BOTD name is not null. So it means that user is entered something in BOTD field. So let me go to the BOTD field and go to the top and uh, let me open the BOTD form. So uh, in the not BOTD, it's a different one, it's a BL. So I'm checking that this field is not null. So then it's going to validate what? So it's going to validate these validations. So I enter the name of my attributes name attribute right at right, this one right so i'm i added this here and then after these validation i'm going i uh, edit a try catch block where i'm saving this bet and if oh, there is any error i'm going to display this exception right and then next oh, i'm checking that same thing lotd id then request lotd name and then i'm going to validate this like this right so hope you get an idea that how I'm getting the validations and how I'm saving this into the database. It's very simple. So hope you like this video. And if you are still interested to learn more about the Laravel, subscribe the YouTube channel so you can get the regular update from this channel. So uh, I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.